Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech with Brett. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're gonna to talk about five tips that you can use on a Chromecast to get the most out of it. Uh, make sure you stick to the end of the video so that you can see how to make this awesome fireplace on your Chromecast. For all of you that are new, thank you so much for joining me. And for those who have shared my Facebook posts and like my Instagram photos, thank you so much. I really appreciate you having you here. It really helps me out. So the first thing that we're gonna do um, on the Chromecast is we are going to show you how to cast your actual screen to the Chromecast device. So all you need to do is go into the Google Home app. In the settings, so you're going to click the top left corner. So say there is an app that doesn't allow you to cast to the Chromecast. Is What you can do is you can actually mirror your full display so it will show up on the TV and you can share that app with the rest of the room. So all you need to do is go into the Google Home app and click Cast Screen and Audio. Then you will see the Chromecast devices locally that, will, that you can cast to. So here I'm gonna select Chromecast. This will then mirror what I am seeing on my phone up onto the TV. The next step that you need to do is go to the application you wanna use. So here I'm gonna open Instagram and check out my posts. So right here, I have a great post from DJI Web talking about the latest Hot Wheels. So make sure you check him out. So that's tip one. Tip number two is what we're gonna do is show you how to make your backdrop pictures show up as your favorite photos from Facebook or your Google Photos. So you need to go into the Google Home app and you need to go to up here in the top right corner and select devices. And here you'll see it says personalized background and more. So you wanna select that. And then here you have options for Google Photos or Facebook. So I'm gonna select Facebook and then it wants me to connect that. And then I select Facebook is on. And then I can choose what photos I want to show up. So I'm gonna select my profile pictures and Instagram photos. And now, so now all of those will show up on the background of my Chromecast device. On the backdrop, you can also go in and change the custom speed. So here, if you want your pictures to show up faster you or slower, you can adjust it there. You can also add weather settings here and maybe some featured photos from Google as well. Tip number three is the Chromecast offers. So if you go into the Google Home app and click the settings, you will see an offers tab. You wanna select that and it will show you what offers are available. Here, it says that I can get six months of YouTube Red for free. Is what that is, is that is YouTube without any of the commercials free for six months. That's $10 value a month. Pretty awesome deal right there. Um, next here, you have three months of HBO Go for free that you can try with the Chromecast app. Here, you also have a 75% off a rental, three months of premium Spotify for a buck, um, a live NBA league pass for $170 or 90 days of Google Play Music for free, which is really awesome. Tip number four allows you to mirror your computer screen to your Chromecast. Is how you get that started is you need to have Google Chrome installed on your computer. The next step is to go into the app section here in Google Chrome and go to the web store and then you search Chromecast. Here you'll find the Google Cast option and you are going to add that to Chrome. And is what this is, is it is an extension that allows you to cast your screen right to the Chromecast. So now here at the top right, you'll see that this little cast icon has appeared. So all you need to do is select that and then agree to the terms and you choose your Chromecast and that will allow you to mirror what is on your computer screen right on to the TV. This is great when you have a website that you wanna show others or there's a video that does not allow you to Chromecast on the computer, you can go here. One of the great things is, is you can go to YouTube and say I wanna check out my Buddy's new video, Jimmy is Promo. 
So I can just go to his YouTube channel. And right here, he's got his latest video about uh, for Pokemon trainers. So here I'm going to check out Jimmy's promo's latest video from my computer, and it actually gives me the Chromecast option um, right here. It's saying, do I want to play now? Because it knows I'm already casting, and it's going to send that right to the TV. Chromecast tip number five. You're going to want to head to play.google.com forward slash music. Once you're there, you're going to click the settings in the top left-hand corner. You want to scroll down and go to settings. So what we're going to do is turn on a special feature in the labs section. So if I go down and find labs, here you're going to see Chromecast Fireplace Visualizer. So when I turn that on, it now allows my computer or even my phone, when I cast to my Chromecast from that account, it's going to play that fireplace in the background. So once we've enabled that on the computer, all we need to do is go to our phone, to the Google Play Music app. Okay, so now all you have to do in the app is turn on cast to your Chromecast, and then play whatever Christmas album you want, and it will send it to the TV, and you'll have your fireplace in the bracket background. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you haven't yet, please check out my last video that's all about how to cast from other applications, your pictures and your videos right from your phone. If you're watching this on a mobile device, please turn it vertical, hit that subscribe button, and also check out two other awesome YouTube channels. We have Jimmy is Promo, as well as DJI Web, who have some really great content. And until next time, happy streaming.